Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Myung Jin and San. To see that it's all good is easy if you don't care too much one way or the other. If you don't cling or reject or avoid emotional extremes, then none of it is hidden and it's all obvious. You stray from that just the tiniest amount and you've missed it by a mile. If you want to get to the truth, then don't think you know what's true and what's false. Decide that what you agree with is true and what you disagree with is false is just delusion. When you decide you know what is true, you'll drive yourself crazy when confronted by false. When you see it's all good as it is, is to see reality. When we cling to our beliefs and think they are truth and reject others because they're false, we show our own ignorance. Don't mistake forms as permanent and remember that impermanence doesn't mean nothing matters. Be, be at ease with how things are and the dis-ease disappears by itself. Trying to achieve no mind by thinking is an error. When all you see is difference, you miss your primary point. And those who don't maintain, don't know mind are trapped by making opposites. If you deny that a glass of water is a glass of water, you go thirsty. If you contend that a glass of water is always a glass of water, then you forget to fill it. Thinking and talking only make opposites. Listen and maintain don't know mind and the world is open. Strip away the opposites and what's left is pure. But start to care about appearances and achievements and what's pure gets muddled. To see this purity even for a second goes beyond opposites. All things are constantly changing and to give them any permanence is ignorance. Don't go searching for answers, just stop making assumptions. It's difficult to stop making opposites. It's a hard habit to break. If don't know mind is lost, there's only confusion. The 10,000 things arise from one. But don't think about one as a concept. When you see that it's all good, then there's nothing that isn't good. When everything is good, old habits of making opposites is gone. When there is don't know, the habit of I know is gone. Let go of opposites, even the concept of don't know is gone. When I think and I know are gone, the concepts are gone. Thinking of you creates the concept of me. Thinking of I creates a separate you. You and I aren't false or true. They're just part of reality. And in this reality, they're not same or different. If not creating the opposites of rough and smooth, then you see it's all good. And good is just another word for open. And open is neither hard nor easy. Relying even on the concept of I know is just a hindrance. To have a closed mind, 
that makes awake separate from any other state. This is the point of awake. To have an open mind is to be unattached. To see all good is to be unattached. And when you see that it's all good, it's to be free. But when you're not free, everything is closed and confused. And making opposites is just making things difficult. So why bother with overthinking if that makes life difficult? Don't get it twisted, though. Don't think that words and ideas are bad. To see that they're just part of life as it is, is to see all things as they are. Thinking that there's something more than just this is to create more opposites and make more difficulty. There are no opposites and creating them is just ignorance. To be under the impression that you can think your way into awakening is the biggest problem. Searching frantically for what's already there creates problems. Just being is enough. Just that is enough. Opposites come from troubled thinking. But they're as real as the stars you see when you rub your eyes. Try and hold them and it's impossible. Don't think that you are right and the other is wrong. Don't think there's a hole where there isn't one. That's just an illusion. When you're awake, the illusions stop on their own. If you don't invent differences, the 10,000 things share the same root. And to understand this is to be freed. When freed, the common root is everywhere. And trying to divide the single root is like trying to divide mercury. It can't be done. When all is still, it's only still and not more than that. There's no need to invent movement. When there's only light, there's no need to invent dark. And even the concept of light is unnecessary. There aren't concepts before thought. When there's no concept of one root, the concept of separate is also non-existent. The troubles that doubts have caused you vanish, leaving only unnamed reality. When freed from these doubts, you cling to nothing. It's all good and there's no need to think about it. When acting before thought, self and other disappear from the world as it is. To realize this, act without making opposites. When you don't make opposites, all things are one thing. And all is just all, with no exclusions. When you awaken to this, you have realized this unity. Reality as it is has no size or space, and it's dependent on nothing related to physical form. Beyond and before thinking, everything is just as it is. And you see it clearly. You see that large and small, green or yellow, now and then are just made by thinking. And these names are irrelevant. If you see this irrelevance, you see existence and non-existence are also just opposites created by thinking. And second guessing this point or arguing about it or trying to realize it as a concept is just trying to grab air. When there are no opposites, all is just all. In the ultimate reality, there is only one thing. And when you realize the lack of opposites, this includes the concept 
of perfect and imperfect being irrelevant. When you trust that it's all good, you realize the true nature of reality. There's no language before thought. It's all good from moment to moment to moment and defining the boundary of one moment to the next is impossible. Accept, but don't settle.